Indeed. Okay. Okay, fellas. We're we're out here. North Iowa Day is out here with Cyclone Construction. We're at the Nyack Papa John Incubator, and these gentlemen are getting ready to move out of this incubator, and they have a some information they'd like to share. Tell us what's going on, gentlemen. Um, just give a little background. We were recruited to come out to the incubator um, several years back. Um, my brother and I moved out here. Uh, we had some stipulations that we had to up, upheld. Um, it was the uh, we had to have our financial stuff every month with them, have monthly meetings with them, um, and pay a monthly fee here uh, to be in the incubator, which we we agreed to. Um, prior to any of that happening, we made it perfectly clear that um, our business is a construction slash supply business. So our cash flow at that time was basically zero. We had no jobs. We had nothing coming in. Um, we had a, we did a presentation with the city of Mason City to try to get some startup money. Um, we were basically kind of denied that. So we went um, in the direction of, of uh, uh, coming to the incubator to see if we could possibly jump start the business. Jump started, get it going. Right. Um, uh, William and I worked uh, really hard at trying to get things going the first year. Um, uh, just to give a background the DOT, it's tough to get into the market, um, especially as a supply business. Um, and fabricating. Fabricating. We're, okay. we're going to get into steel fabrication. Okay. So um, for the first year, we had nothing, um, no, no business. Um, I think late in the year, William got a job, um, did that job, uh, had some issues on the project. So you just to stop you for one second. You guys went before the council probably in 2010. Yes. Yes. Fall of 2010, and then we're talking 2011 now. Your first year out here. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Just so we got a time frame. So now we're in 2011. You guys are trying to make a go of it, help using the incubator as part of your business. Correct. And how? And, and continue then. I'm sorry. And then after 2011, there was really nothing. We had like one project, right? Which wasn't profitable. Okay. Um, we then got into 2012 this season. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we had had back rent that we had had not paid. Obviously, no money coming in. It's tough to put money out. Um, we had a meeting. Uh, back rent here, Leland. Back rent here. Okay, sure. Um, Can we ask what what were you what what's it cost to have your business out here? What's that run? What were they charging? You? It, it, it's a progressive uh, deal. It's hundred and some dollars a month. Uh, for the first year, second year, it increases two something a month, and the third okay. year, uh, it's full full payment for full, full. You know, oh, you're running like you're full business. Okay, so they so baby kind of baby step you along yeah, until you they think or until they think you should be at a certain point, and then it's kind of full charge. Correct, right. and, they, and okay. they, they're supposed to. They, they, their guidelines with what we've understood and what we've worked with them is that they're going to work with us as any way they can to keep get the business off the ground. Okay, and plus you have to have a business plan and, and a feasible business plan to start your business, and of you'd even step into the into the incubator. Obviously, you gentlemen had that when you came out here, or you wouldn't be here. Correct. Correct. Okay, so now you're out here, you're trying to make a go of it. There, the just, costs just, are going up, go and go ahead. No, you go and, ahead. And first. just a little bit, uh, there's another business out here that um, paid no rent whatsoever for the first year. Few of them, several of them. So we were a little a little disturbed that we were. Basically, and we want to pay. So you're telling me that they weren't treating every business exactly the same out here? No, correct. Okay. That is correct. Okay, that's news to me. I did not know that. Go um, continue, please. So the, um, so we came to this. We it basically got up to this, the the area where uh, we were getting into the next step up of rent. Um, uh, we were approached uh, by Jamie Zanios and Mark and Ted in a meeting, and they said. Uh, basically, it wasn't really the rent that they were really too concerned with. It was that we weren't getting our financial stuff into them, and we were missing the meetings. Mm -hmm. And I, we had made every meeting up till that point. Um, we got a, a rush of jobs. We got five jobs on the letting. Um, we got into the into those jobs. We were out of town. 
Um, was that spring and summer of 2012 then? Yes. So just just, re just recently, just things it was picked most, up. It was mid summer. Within six months. Yes. Within six months. Within the last six months, six months things got going for you. Right. Gentlemen. And what happened okay. is when we went to them and in some of the meetings, I explained to them that we were fine tuning our, our way of getting the business. It's hard to get into the business here and doing what we're doing. But you only been in here a year and a half. Right. So, and I mean, we were, we were it took a while to get in. You're saying so, like fighting the, the system on how, how all the companies out there. Right. Well, I told them we. I think we got. It. I think we got it fine tuned. Um, I said, well, we're going to go after the next few weddings and we'll see what would happen. Well, they said they, they would work with us. We, we, we went in, bam, we hit five major projects and hit a major project. So nice. um, up to basically up to half a million dollars worth of work. We went to them and explained to them, look, we are the are part of our workforce and we need to be out there in the field. We can't make meetings that you guys have at, at nine or ten. I mean, we, we lose a half a day. Our guys can't get. They don't know what to do. They don't can't right. get the job. So it hinders us. Sure. So we figured we would. I we would call, leave faxes, emails, and work that way. And every evening that we would come home, we talk. Um, we would talk to Mark. And so you had he, ongoing communication. You just yes. didn't necessarily make some of their uh, their schedule meetings. Schedule meetings. Okay. Schedule meetings. But we were always. Okay. And we didn't have the the paper, the pa the the paper financials to hand in front of them. Okay. Now. Going back to that, right? It was kind of a catch twenty two for us. We could not pay our accountant to get our financials straightened out. We could not get a computer. A some of the things that we asked for in that startup, um, get a new computer, QuickBooks, things of that nature to get things running, so we could hand them yeah, we're doing a that. monthly. This are, um, these are items that you needed out in this office to in order to fulfill their requirements. Correct. So you just because because the business hadn't picked up yet. Right. And so then it starts to pick up, and now things have changed. But go ahead, pick up where you were. Right. So up to that point, we had no business whatsoever. So right. there was really no financials. Um, it was zero. Okay. And that was we explained that to Mark and Ted and everybody. That it's zero, and they they kept expressing we had to have some financials and. It kind of go back and forth. Did you think about handing them a big piece of paper with a big black zero on it? You ever think of, ever think of that? <laughs> we thought it was pretty self-explanatory. Well, okay. And, and these gotcha. guys have been in business before, and, they, and, and we repeatedly were told that we know how it feels. We're out there. We've done this before. We're, okay. We start, you know, we're sitting there figuring that, well, it's camaraderie kind of that. Yeah. They've started exactly the way we started. They seem sympathetic to your situation. Truly. Truly. We, 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 we felt that. Now, saying that, I feel as though those guys do feel sympathetic. Okay. And But what I'm saying and what we'll get to is that well, we feel the college doesn't. Okay. We feel as though the entrepreneurial center and Papa John's want you to make it, but the college doesn't want anybody out here. They don't want no one out here. Really? There's other businesses that have been out here. They will say they try to bring people in and want to work with you and do that. Right. They've lost more businesses out here than they've gained. More of the businesses that have come out here and tried, and, and, and I hate to say this, the people that want to come out here and spend their money to come in, in this situation, don't do it. Because okay. what it is, these guys come out here, which we have a guy that was just out here, and he left. Because the same thing that they were do, do, doing to us. He couldn't get his finances straight. He's trying to run his own business. He's out there in the field. He's doing the products. They're yelling at him because he doesn't make the meetings. He, he, he got so frustrated with the whole situation that he said, I'm out of here, and he left. Mm-hmm. And, he, and he's more profitable than we are. Okay. I mean, he has he had continuous he had actual jobs. Yeah. yeah. He was he was building and building. Okay. So we got to okay. the point where um, we had a basically a, an eviction letter. Um, when did that come, Leland? Uh, in October, I believe. Okay. So pretty recent, couple months ago at the most. Right. Right in the midst of. Every, now, right we're, we're well, nailing jobs. I'm we're picking the peak up more of the jobs. jobs. I okay. picked a quarter of a million dollar job up. Why go in and tell them this? I said, look, we just got to get on our feet, get some of this stuff done, get our financials straightened out, come back in, and, let, and we're right here. What, what? You guys just returned from a job down in Des Moines, like today or yesterday, correct? Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. Iowa, what was that job like? Well, how, what were you guys It's doing? a quarter of a million dollar treatment plant that we've okay. got. Um, it, it should be a fairly profitable project for us. Um, okay, so you're getting so some good stuff. You're getting into the system. You're working your way in. The selling, business yes, is ramping up product, a little bit. So right when your business is ramping up, they want you out? No, they want That's to kick us out. Yes. Who, who exactly is, is asking you to leave then? Is it the college? Is it the Papa John it's Center? Deb, the, 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 the head lady of the... Deb Durr? Yes. That's her. President? President. Yes. What, what's, what, tell me why it's her. She, they, it's come from directly from the, from uh, Jamie's Angels, from Ted, from Mark, all of them. That, that it's her. She's made the decision. And, and, and here, here's the thing on this, Matt, is that this whole process that's gone on, 
we have the we had the main structure in there. We actually built cranes to, to start producing and, and hauling steel in it and to be able to fabricate. Uh, they knew we were in that process. They knew we had to build that that, that area for three, up to three years. They went out and started a, a um, diesel. diesel program, knowing that they didn't have anywhere to put that diesel program. What happened, which we got through the grapevine through other people in this in the college, is that they have she chose that they were they were going to somehow push us out of here and get us out of here no matter what because they wanted that area to start their diesel program. A non incubator. A non incubator. Non. This is like a business. like a. Yeah. This is a class. part of the a class, part of the right? Class. Part, of the part of the college. Curriculum, yes. curriculum she, stuff. She started a whole new thing and and put it in the incubator in, a, in an area which I know if, if he'd roll over in his grave right now who built this building yeah. it was for bit for businesses it wasn't for the college to, to to profit off of. Sure. And I know Papa John right now would be right now if he if I made a phone call down to him which we we we've, we've thought about doing is that yeah. saying saying hey look you're you're your your uh, thing is not being run the way it's supposed to be. The college is using using it the way. Well, what are the what are the gentlemen that are running the the this entrepreneurial center? What is Jamie Zanius, Ted Bear, uh, these guys? What are they saying about this? Their this, hands are tied. They say their hands are tied. Their hands are tied. It's out of their. It's out of their hands. It's out of their hands. The college the college overrules them. Okay, That's and exactly. you guys believe that. I, I, we, we don't know. What, what do we? How can uh, you? We, we, we can. I'm not. For, I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. No, no, I'm just no. asking you what and, your and, opinion and Matt, is. Matt, we've we've asked for meetings with this lady, and she will not have any meetings with us. I, have and, you picked and, up a phone and tried to get her office? Oh, I've called down there. I've called the incubator. What happens when you call they her office? They just say, well, she's busy. It's always um, deal with the pop, deal, deal with the pop John Center. Deal with Ted. Ted's in charge of you guys. Right. It's always that. Okay. Now I just went over. We're now we're moving out. Yeah, I, I see that. I went over to get ask the college if they could come over and help us put put. Two Two pieces of equipment on our trailer for us, and so we can to, to to remove them off the, the premises. And uh, I went home and talked to Mary, and Mary said, "Yeah, I think we can have that done." So she called the thing, and all the people had left for the day. Well, she called down to the main office and said, "Well, we'll just maybe we can do this in the morning. You take to come and pick the two other pieces of equipment up in the morning." Mm -hmm. And she called that Deb, and that Deb said, "No, we're not going to do that for you." Deb Durr. Deb Durr. Said, we're so not going to do any of that for you. So do you kind of feel like she's just kind of pulling the plug on everything? Just I mean, just dead in the water? Just That's it? No I, I more? I feel as though she, she, she doesn't care about anything. She just cares... I, I, you know, you think she's got it in for the for this entrepreneurial center, or just for you guys in general? No, no. I, I'm not I'm not sure. It's, I would not say it's us. I mean, okay. but... This has gone. This has happened to other people here. Her priority is this new diesel this curriculum is, she's class. She's getting a new diesel class in there. She okay. wants to use all these. So you're rooms. getting forced out for this diesel thing, is what yeah. you're, you guys feel. They're going to use this feel. part of the, the college for their whole new diesel, their whole new diesel thing. So okay. the entrepreneurs that are here right now, they're gone. They're just getting squeezed out. P PSF, who was next door, he left. Got for basically. Did he get forced out? You think he, ba he basically for got forced out in the sense that he he felt as though the college wasn't doing anything for him. Mm. Would not help him. They didn't come in and help him get any financing. They didn't come in and help him, and you know, uh, mentor him the way he wanted to be mentored. Uh, you know, certain things that he needed that that the, that the, that the we, most most entrepreneurial centers help you get. Mm -hmm. You know, going out and getting grants, going out and you know, showing you how to do it. None of that. And he he was fed up, and he mm -hmm. said, "I'm out of here." So what he do? Go get an office in town he, somewhere? He, or? he actually, he, he he actually just, went to Forest City. City. So he moved out of town. He he's out of the county. Town. Everything. He's, yeah. he's he out so, of. The... He was so pissed. He just said, "I'm out." Of here. They gave him a deal up in Forest City that he couldn't refuse. Yep. Who gave him a deal? Like a private place or um, another another was, incubator? It was another, it was another company that kind of. Oh, okay. He tied so, himself in with. So private. Yeah. He's not in an incubator no, or a college no. thing. Okay. So and, he's and, out on his own doing this right. thing. Right. And he, but he okay. we we were in, in talks with him on building our own buildings together and and actually stay you know staying in in the, in the area and but like you said he would. He was so fed up with this, he just took yeah. the opportunity he could take at the moment. So, a, okay, go it ahead. It was an opportunity that arose for him that yeah. he, I he gotcha. felt was good. Okay. It would be just like us. If something came up for us, we'd, we'd get sure out would. and do it. I mean, yeah, we're not, we're not, no one wants to stay here forever, but the idea is sure. to get on your feet. The idea is when you're there. Do you guys feel like you're on your feet now? No, no. no. Not quite yet? Oh. Well, here's what happened. It's ramping up, but it's not quite there yet. Here's what has happened. Okay. Um, we, were, we were asked to get out of the whole building, so we had a meeting. And it was talked into just staying in the office, and they could have the shop area. Mm -hmm. So the day that they forced us out of the shop area, um, we were supposed to be in Council Bluffs to pick up our equipment um, and get off a job down there. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to miss two days down there. In those two days, some of our equipment was stolen, so it's put us back. Mm -hmm. um, 
we can't get some of our equipment back into Mason City because that equipment was needed to get here. Okay. To get the equipment here. Right. So it's it's called it caused the snowball effect. Yeah. And basically, it's just it's crushing us down. Um, the loss of this equipment in Council Bluffs is crushing you. Yeah, we had a that, we had a twenty two foot trailer, trailer that was stolen down yeah. there during that, that that two days that we were supposed to be in doing this that we shouldn't have been doing. Sure. And then now it's caused us. Now we get another trailer. Now our skittle is on another project. Well, we can't get that, so we asked them to come in and just lift the equipment up to remove our stuff. And now mm -hmm. they're saying basically piss on us on that too. Yeah. So I mean. It, and they I want, to sell, I they want you out, but it's all on you to get out. Yeah, right. saying, okay. And we're not we're not asking for anything special. Um, we, we've never asked for anything special treatment. Mm -hmm. We want to abide by things. Sure. But our our, our whole argument or essence of, of of this thing is, this is an incubator. Everybody knows when you start out a business, it struggles, and to cause more burden on an already struggling business that's just right at the bubble mm -hmm. to bunch or to, to bust. Yeah. Um, is it? I think it. I don't know if it's personal or what it is. I really don't. Right. I just it just it bothers me that we were basically asked or begged to come out. Anger come out. Here. Yeah. And get in this thing to be encouraged to come out at, at the be, very be, least, right? To be the poster child. They had and, seen they had seen right. our demonstration and then they had seen our uh, our business plan and and Ted, Jamie Zanios, Ted Nolan said we need to get these guys out here. We know we can get them off the ground. We know what we know the potential. Mm -hmm. Well, our potential went from from just myself and him working to hiring eight to ten guys within six months. And I like I explained, you had seen that the presentation. Absolutely. Here. Now we can go from that. We can go up to, to 30, 35 guys if we can get. We were right in the midst of putting our cranes up and start being able to bring steel and fabricate and bend in ourselves. Right. Now all of a sudden they kick us out. Well, what are you guys going to do next now? They're, they're, how, first of all, how soon do you got to be out of here? Uh, by end of business today. Today? Today. 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 So you got to get this office all... It's, There's a few things left in here. You got to get out of here, right? You should have saw what we had to move before. Okay, so you're, I can see you're boxing things up and getting getting out of here. So you got to be out of here today. And There's where more you, stuff outside if you want to. Okay, and where are you going it. next? Where are you going next? Um, well, we 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 do have a, a building, a storage building that we got our equipment and everything in. But but I mean we're we're we're, yeah. we're having to get a new office space and everything else. So I mean, uh, we, so we're we, gonna have a traveling office for right now. Did how long ago did you get the eviction notice? Um, Saturday it came in. Saturday. So only like three biz two business days ago. Two business days. Two a day a business day and a half ago. I yeah. mean it's it's only about three right. o'clock right now. Well if we if we wouldn't have picked up our, our mail on Saturday, um, we would have got it on Monday, which means we'd have been out today. So basically, we would have had a day. Um, we check our emails well, regularly, so we got an email and a certified Friday. letter on the same day. Was that from Saturday Jamie Friday. Zanius and those fellas, well, or was it from Deb, Deb Durr? Deb Durr. Directly from Maybe you can give us a copy of that sure. or something yep. to, for the story. Yep, sure. Okay. Can. Well, what you guys want to say anything else? We got 18 minutes of video right now. You want to say anything else? Well, anything I mean, else anybody should know? My, my thing is that you know I understand people that they want to get into business and and, and this is discouraging in, in a sense to us. I mean we we fought to get to a point where we get back into business that we've had businesses before, but this one this one is a good one for us. Sure. And and, and we know it's going to go. We know it may. We know we're comfortable enough now. I mean we know we. Yeah. I mean, it's hurting us very, I mean, extremely hurting us, but, but in the same sense is that anyone who thinks that they're going to come out here and these people are going to do the things that they say they're going to do, they haven't done a thing. You know, they were supposed to help us get 8A certified. They're supposed to do grants for us. They're, this is what this place is supposed to do. So you're saying the incubator is not all it's cracked up to the, be. The, the incubator is not an incubator. This is just a shell. Okay. It's, it's, it's got the Papa John name on it. And a great man, a great entrepreneur, and I know, like I said, if he knew what was going on, he'd be extremely upset. That okay. Incubators across the country start out helping businesses from the beginning. They help you with computers. They help you with, mm -hmm. they they come in and they... they, they now this looks know, like, just to me, know. naked eye, this is just stuff you guys kind of procured on your own. And right. it kind of just, a, I don't want to call it a hodgepodge of stuff, but I don't know if this is stuff like the college would typically give people. No, no, this, no, this, this is... looks like a desk you brought from home. Yes. This looks like an old fax machine here that you're using, probably brought that from home. That's an old uh, HP Pavilion, old uh, monitor there. This is an old uh, kind of laptop that's probably six, seven, eight years old, something like that, kind of an old phone there. You know, it doesn't look Tower. like, it, right. I don't see any evidence that the college has given you guys like anything special. 
No, you no. And, 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 and like I said, we, don't, we didn't want anything from the college in that sense. Uh, what we want from the college is, is support. We needed the, the, the space, which they, you know, and that they're taking away from us. And the, and, the and, biggest thing, I think, is time. And, and it's time. We just asked, all we asked for was to, to be able to, to, to get past the hump that they knew we were getting past. And, and the idea is that for them to say that they're helping us, we don't want a meeting once a month where you come in and tell us, hey, we want to see your financials, and then we want, want you to do this. That's not what we want. Mm -hmm. We want, as business people and the people that have been in business before, to say, okay, what what else what else can we do for you? Can right. can we get you investors? Can we get you the, the the paperwork done for you that you need to get done? So you're saying they weren't they weren't proactive enough? Oh, no, no. That, that would maybe be the word that I would use. Uh, I would listening say, to your, I would say unactive. Ryan. Except for their meetings. Well, yeah, anybody can come and schedule. It was meeting. basically the meeting was us telling them what we were doing, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, Basically, them. We heard it more than once. You guys have to run this like a business, and we kept trying to explain them. We're part of our workforce. We it's are the tough. business, right? We it's tough for us to be in the office. Any, any and small out business knows we, so, we're out there doing. Exactly I know a little bit about what you're saying. You, know? you are without you guys, there is no, no business. business. Yeah. See that? Yeah. So we I, get, yeah. we go out and actually work the jobs with the guys. So that the, the jobs get done. Well, Leland, it looks like you've been out doing something today. You're, you're kind of out. You look like a construction worker to this, me. This is my apparel. <laughs> steel tying apparel. All right. Um, but the, the biggest thing is um, what we were asking for is just time. We mm -hmm. knew it would take. How much longer do you need, Leland? Six more months, three months, a year? Six months to a year. So six another six six to 12 months, you guys would be over the hump, good oh, to go. Oh, easily. I, I think we... I think well, we our, our ambition was in the next two years to build a building. Um, we felt we felt uh, well in one quarter we got a half million dollars worth of work, and it's just about what we could. Would have. you build that building in Mason City? Yes. Um, Is it Mason City business friendly enough for you to do that? Well, it, it's it's on the bubble, but I mean we do love our town. And, and sure. the thing is, we want to employ the people that from Mason City because this okay. is our town. But I mean, there are other communities. If we have to go to Manly, if we got to go to to, to Clear Lake or anywhere sure. else, sure, we're willing to go any of those places. Yeah. But okay, well, like I said, within that six just month asking. Period, well, in that within it, in that six month period, we knew we know where we're at now business wise with the DOT and the the, the projects that. Let we me do. ask you guys this question. You know, there's a lot of businesses that are now again coming before the council, and you guys are a little more polished than you were two years ago. Have you thought about going back up there and? Or going privately to your council members and mayor and at saying that, you know, we're a little more polished than we were two years ago. Maybe it's time you guys step up and help us now. You've helped everyone else. They've helped Graham. They've helped Metalcraft. The list, I mean, Harley. I mean, how, how long does the list have to go? Correct. And then we, we, we kind of know the, we all know what goes on in Mesa City. But sure. we, we feel as though we want to get, we want to get completely where we, we are. We're, okay. We're not asking for anything at this moment. We know that we got money coming in and generating that we're going to start to do things. Um, that we can get, you know, we want to make sure that when people, when we come to the city, that people may see, you know, that we just, we didn't just ask for something. Right. A handout. We're okay. not asking for a handout. We, we want everybody to say, hey, they well, want the money. Well, very respectable, guys. Well, they, they want the money because they want to build, they want the equipment to do what they said they're going to do. And that's what we want to do. Yeah. Sure. So. Well, I'm about to run out of battery here, fellas. Um, very good interview. I think you. We wish you guys the best. We hope you guys can pull through this and get a good, you know, location in Mason and get this thing together. It looks like you're in a hurry to get out of here today, and we wish you the best. Well, I appreciate it. Okay, appreciate guys. It.